Auburn police are investigating a series of weekend business burglaries. Some good news for the Garrett Kaiser Butler School District and details about the Auburn Parks Department's annual Valentine's dances. I'm Taylor Brooks. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Grab your W-2s and head over to Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. We'll do your taxes for free and apply your refund right now as a down payment on a new car or truck. Then we'll match your down payment up to $500. Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local. Dependable. On demand. And now, the latest from Hoosier Ohio News Channel. The Auburn Police Department is investigating multiple weekend burglaries that occurred between the evening hours on Friday, January 22nd through early Saturday the 23rd. Police say the first occurred at Buttermore Appliance on East 7th Street between 8.45 and 10 p.m. when an unknown number of individuals entered the business and removed a significant number of electronic devices from the showroom and stockroom. The items were loaded into a newer red Chevrolet or GMC Express cargo van that was parked in the rear of the business. During that same night, DeKalb County Visitors Bureau, Heavenly Touch Day Spa, the Cup Bearer Coffee House, Famous Hair, and Fashion Bug were all forcibly entered. Cash and other personal items were stolen, and a witness say they saw a green Ford four-door vehicle leaving the area of one burglary. Police are seeking information about who is involved and where the stolen property may be. Anyone with information can call the Auburn Police Department at 920-3200 or Crime Stoppers at 927-4811. And some good news for the Garrett Kaiser Butler School District last night as Superintendent Dennis Stockdale delivered his annual State of the School Address. According to the Star, Stockdale reported that the massive funding cuts won't have as large of an impact as they had feared. The school has been able to reduce spending on supplies to save jobs. New programs have also brought graduation rates up to 94.1 percent in 2009. Also at the meeting, Miller's Mary Manor was recognized for supporting the Boomerang Backpack Program. And a bill that would ban smoking in most public places in Indiana is in danger of failing in the Indiana House. The original bill from Democrat Charlie Brown would only make exceptions for casinos and some horse racing tracks, but the House has voted to add bars, taverns, and tobacco shops to that list. Brown has pulled his bill for now. And the Auburn Parks and Rec Department is once again hosting its annual Valentine's dances. The mother-son dance will be on Friday, February 5th, and the father-daughter dance will be Saturday, February 6th. Both dances will be held at the National Military History Center from 6 till 8 p.m. The evening is designed to entertain kids 3 to 10 years old. You can register now through the 29th at the Parks Department on Cedar Street. Tickets are $20 per couple. And that's the news for now. Find more news at ILoveFroggy.com. I'm Taylor Brooks. Have a great day. You approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state. So banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your Preferred Auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.